to the latest in the Middle East now, and Israel continues to hammer the Gaza Strip with airstrikes and Hamas firing rockets towards Tel Aviv after an unprecedented week of war. The Israeli military says it's now preparing for a potential ground assault on Gaza, while Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has formed a wartime cabinet and promised to crush and destroy Hamas. The US Secretary of State Antony Blinken is also on the ground, pledging American support in the fight. The message that I bring to Israel is this. You may be strong enough on your own to defend yourself, but as long as America exists, you will never ever have to. We will always be there by your side. Secretary Blinken will also head to Qatar, Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Egypt in the coming days in a bid to prevent the situation from turning into a wider regional conflict. NBC's Josh Lederman joins us live now from Tel Aviv with the latest. Josh, uh, this also comes as the US and Qatar agree to block some $6 billion in funds that Iran gained in this recent prisoner swap deal. But explain to us, what is the latest on the ground there? Well, we had that visit from Secretary Blinken, the top U.S. diplomat yesterday, and today a visit from Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, the top U.S. military leader. And I think that is an indication of the direction that this is going. All of the signs are pointing towards uh, a buildup toward that likely ground incursion uh, that you mentioned, uh, with the top Israeli military spokesman saying that they are doing everything that they need to do right now to prepare for an eventual ground incursion but also saying that Israel's uh, political leaders have not yet made the final call uh, on whether to move forward with that. But overnight, uh, we saw additional Israeli strikes in the Gaza Strip with fighter jets targeting five homes that they say were associated with Hamas operatives and also using fighter jets to strike a situation room that they say Hamas was using to actually track uh, Israeli military movements. Uh, we have also seen a real deterioration uh, in the last day or so of the humanitarian conditions within the Gaza Strip, where there is now uh, no operating power plant. The fuel is gone. The hospitals have just a day or two, maybe three left of power for their backup generators. Uh, and the UN and the World Health Organization warning of a potential collapse of the healthcare system uh, as they anticipate far more casualties coming in, because uh, even the Israeli government, while they say they are doing whatever they can to minimize civi civilian casualties, uh, is being pretty transparent about the fact that if there is a major uh, military incursion into the Gaza Strip, it is going to involve significant casualties for the 2.1 or so million civilians who live in the Gaza Strip, Dan.